Hola, buenas tardes, good afternoon, my beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. It's so good to see you. Thank you so much for stopping by and joining me for another planner video. As always, it's your girl Daniela, and I'm here with my happy planner, and I'm in the academic section, my academic section here. So I'm gonna be uh, just decorating and setting up my week for uh, the 18th to the 24th, and I'm using my undated Mickey Mouse vertical um, style layout from the Happy Planner. So if you're interested in seeing what I do for this planner setup, just keep on watching. So like I said, I'm in my academic section, so I'm a graduate student, so this is uh, basically my full-time job here and um, I I have a lot of fun <laughs> with my planners so I Franken plan meaning I combine various different planners into one planner to make my ultimate um, customized planner and I separate all of my planner sections from each other with scrapbook paper and because it's fall I uh, went ahead and did fall themed uh, scrapbook dividers so this is my little fun little title page that separates this section from all the other sections. I use scrapbook paper to kind of, you know, give it some fall touches. This is my fall class schedule. Even though I don't actually have classes, um, I'm at the I'm in my last year of my graduate program and at that point you really don't have classes. You just have your own research that you work on and um, I just made a class schedule because I am such a, a school nerd and I love back to school vibes and everything and I always loved setting up my class schedule when I was in college and so because I don't have classes anymore but I still do have like various projects that I work on and so it kind of helps me to structure my time because I really don't have like a set work schedule as long as I get things done I can work whatever hours I choose to which is fantastic but it also kind of puts the onus on you to like set up your time and use your time wisely so I tend to structure like my, t my time in these classes and it's because I have various projects that I work on, it helps me to kind of um, kind of just schedule out when I work on projects and such. So this is kind of the calendar view that I came up with for that. And again, I have another scrapbook paper and I've paper clipped um, my monthly overview to it. So that way I don't have like a random weekly uh, page in there. But this is my October overview. I just have some kind of big goals that I want to achieve this month. Then the October di uh, divider, the October calendar. I had a lot of fun with this one. I kind of went all out with the fall theme. And the first week in October, and this is the second week in October. I used, um, what did I use here? I used a Happy Planner sticker book, but I forget what it was called. I think it was called Happy Illustrations. Yeah, I think that's what it's called. And then this is the upcoming week here, and I've already pulled some sticker pages that I want to use. These are just random sticker pages from various sticker books. I think, um, I think this is the Colored Boxes sticker book, and this was the color story I'm not sure honestly I think it's color story but I had like I have a bunch of happy planner sticker books and um, you know throughout the years I've kind of whittled down a lot of sticker books to just like a few pages each and so when you get to the point where the sticker book only has a few pages left I tend to just rip out the pages and combine them with um, sticker pages from other sticker books in this little like deconstructed sticker book pack I have. So I believe I have like six or seven sticker books in here. Um, I mean like the remnants of those sticker books in here. And so I've been slowly trying to get th through those sticker pages as well. And yeah, I kind of like the idea of having just like random stickers and then just kind of creating something from different types of stickers because um, it's, it's fun when you have a full like new sticker book from the Happy Planner and um, yeah, it's fun to just like 
you know, get a full fresh sticker book and just go to town with it. But I think it's, uh, it kind of, it's easy to just kind of get in a rut and stick to, you know, just pre-formulated um, designs and having just like random stickers kind of helps you to just think outside the box and like combine things in new and exciting ways. So the, the, the what's it called? So the inspiration I'm going with here is just, I kind of went with like a blue theme and because these stickers here have like some blue elements to it, I thought, I thought that, um, that they would go well together. So let's see what I have here. So I'm just, um, I had some sticky notes here that I wanted to make a note of, um, a couple of things going on. So that's what I have going on here. Let's see. The boxes stand for like meetings or seminars that I want to make a note of. And I also, whenever I set up my week, I tend to, uh, first of all, I'll have sticky notes down in case I wanted to make a note of something earlier in the week and I just, you know, didn't want to write it down on the page. That's what I use those sticky notes for. I also check um, my week, my monthly calendar to make sure that there's nothing going on this week and I don't have anything written down. So there's that and then i also check my year at a glance because sometimes i'll write down things here that um that need to happen and i forget to transfer them to the monthly so it doesn't seem like there's anything going on here so i just have these four things that are going on and um yeah i think that's all okay so I'm gonna grab for some of these checklists because checklists are so crucial and important to me. I definitely tend to use quite a bit of these um, throughout the week. So I'll just pop some down. So actually, I tend to put checklists down on Saturday and Sunday as well. Not that I do anything on Saturday and Sunday. I actually try not to work on Saturday and Sunday because it's so easy to get burnt out in academia. It definitely, the work culture definitely encourages a lot of overworking and like pushing yourself beyond your human limits. And so I do try to not work on Saturday and Sunday, but I tend to write uh, or like put checklists on Saturday and Sunday or like put reminders on Saturday and Sunday not that I need to do those things on Saturday and Sunday but that I I like to use the space because I tend to um, run out of space throughout the week because I just have a lot going on and I feel like Saturday and Sunday for me are just these two days I, I don't do anything for work and so how I tend to use um, Saturday and Sunday space is I'll put checklists down or I'll put boxes down and um, of things that I need to do during the week and it doesn't really matter that when I do them, it's, they don't have to be done on a specific day. And so if there's something like on Tuesday that I realize that I need to do um, before the end of the week, I'll go ahead and write it down on the checklist that I placed on Saturday. So that way it's written down on the page somewhere and I like am reminded of it. So I'm going to add another checklist here on Sunday. And I think that's it. So uh, let me look through my little sticker pack here of random stickers and see if there's any like decorative stickers that I want to add. I have a bunch of gardening stickers in here. Um, let's see. Colorful boxes stickers. Let's see. Maybe 
maybe one of these blue vanity stickers. Um, it's kind of random, but it is blue, so I'll just add it. We'll go with that. <laughs> maybe these blue high-heeled shoes. And maybe this blue little, um, like banner up here and I actually I can pull for some of these um, like cursive scripts with the blue background uh, to kind of mark my to-do lists so um, ooh, I don't like that this is upside down some of this is upside down I don't like that at all I can't read I can't read it okay let me just pull for one of these it says plan it out I can write that or put that down there. Lunch day appointment, movie night, party, shopping, me time, hang out with my girls, lunch date, me time shopping. Okay, I don't like that they have these upside down at all. It's okay though. We'll, we'll forgive them for doing that. Let's see if there's anything. Um, I'll grab this get busy sticker. I can put that somewhere, maybe here. I'm just pulling for blue stickers. This is a blue spread. Um, let's see. Mm, oh, I'm so I'm so over these mosquitoes. I've gotten bitten gotten bitten so many times already being out here. This is a true sacrifice um, making this video right now. I'm gonna go to the store I think and get mosquito repellent because I want to film videos and I want to sit outside when I do it because the lighting is great and it's just nice to sit outside but I also do not want to um, I don't want to die. I don't want to die from these mosquito bites. Okay, what about don't important? I can put this right here. Important. Okay, let me see if there's anything I want to add from this sticker book. So uh, I got this like planner sticker storage book from Michaels. It was on clearance. I've been kind of eyeing these, um, eyeing one of these for a while now. Decided to finally go ahead and pick it up. And I've been really, really loving it. Um, it's just such a nice way of like storing a bunch of your stickers and again, I I went through all of my sticker stash and I filled this up with a bunch of stickers Particularly from like sticker books and sticker pages that didn't have a lot of stickers left in them So I have a I had a bunch of pages where I only had like a few stickers on them so I went ahead and I went in and I took all of those stickers where I only had like three or four at a, on a page and then I just condensed them into this um, sticker storage book and I've been loving it because not only did I get rid of so many sticker pages I got rid of like a chunk literally it was like that thick which is like I don't know seven sticker books I had I had that many sticker pages where I only had one or two stickers in them and I just consolidated them all into this sticker storage and now I can carry this around and have a variety of stickers to choose from but I also don't have to I, ha I got rid of like a stack of sticker pages um, and they were completely finished like I didn't throw away stickers at all I they were just empty pages and I just went ahead and consolidated all of them into this uh, sticker storage book. So I've been, I've been really loving um, the sticker storage book. So let's see if there's anything that I want to add. Um, I kind of want like a decorative something there. So let's see, maybe a quote. Maybe this one that says good times because it's blue. Good times, maybe up here or down here. This place feels empty right here, but I don't know what to add. Never be afraid to challenge, challenge, chase your dreams. Never be afraid to chase your dreams.
And I kind of just for fun want to add some of these blue Mickey stickers because we're going with this blue theme and I can add some of these cute little stickers. So. And then something that I have been doing is I always kind of write the uh, the week that we're currently in in the quarter. So at UC San Diego, we're on the quarter system, meaning that uh, every every uh, ten weeks or each academic quarter is ten weeks. Um, some schools are on the semester system, and you have two semesters per academic year. We're on the quarter system, so we have three quarters per academic year. Well, we have technically four quarters, that's why it's called a quarter. And our quarter system has 10 weeks per chunk. And so when you're in the quarter, um, you have your every week is like week one through week 10. And so we're currently on week four here, which is insane. But you know, it is what it is. So I'm just gonna write that down here just so that I remember and I know exactly what week we are in. Oh, I just feel, I felt like just yesterday that we started the quarter and we were on week one. Now we're on week four already, it's so sad. And I think that's it. I think I'm happy with how it is. I always try to leave a little bit of like blank space and empty space in my spreads because I do tend to write a lot. And um, yeah, so as you can see, this is kind of what how my academic spreads go I was super busy like Thursday on this week so I didn't actually have a lot of time to write in my in my academic spread um, my planner in general this this time around but I think this week we're gonna be back to writing a lot so I hope you enjoyed this uh, plan with me. Let me know what you thought. Let me know how your week is going. I'd love to know. Um, and I hope, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week. And I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.